Hey everyone, Todd Hirsch with Hubs How HubSpot Works. Today uh, we're going to continue on with the email tutorial. We're going to talk a little bit about um, what's going on right down here in the actions and the send test email. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So the first thing we're going to look at uh, is the uh, down here in the actions tab uh, is the show live preview button. This is pretty useful because when you're developing your email, you're writing up your email. Sometimes you kind of want to take a look at how it might look uh, from a user's perspective. So go ahead and click on that. And what happens is HubSpot generates another tab or another window in your browser, and uh, you can see the email in its full entirety uh, here which is kinda nice. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at is the edit template layout uh, option. Um, this is basically if you want to change an out-of-the-box template that you're probably using in HubSpot, this is how you do it. Um, so, or one way you can do it. So when you click on that, uh, you get a message that says create a new layout for your changes. Since this page uses a default template, we'll need to create a cloned version that you can customize. So uh, don't worry too much about this. Basically what's happening here, just like in the landing page tool, it's a very similar message, very similar functionality. Uh, what, you're, what you're doing is you're changing it the template that this email that you happen to be editing right now uh, is based on. Right, so it's basically saying, "Oh, you want to create a whole new template that you can use later from other emails." So uh, that's what they're really saying there, and they want you to name that new layout template. So uh, we can just call it um, something like "New Example Email Template" or something uh, creative like that, and then just click copy, and then it pops up the editing tool. Okay, the template editor tool. Now, if you're familiar with uh, the landing page tool, you're familiar with the landing page uh, functionality and videos that we've done earlier, this will be very familiar to you. So basically this is the layout guts of the email that you we've just been editing and it has it's made up of different rows as you can see different modules that HubSpot calls them. So you can um, change the, these module types over here using the little gear button. You go to swap module and you can change it to different types of modules, images, logos, uh, um, rich text, custom HTML. You really can, uh, you know, calls to action, social sharing, just a ton of different things that you can do there. Um, so we're not going to get into a huge amount of detail about how to change these things out. Just suffice it to say that you can change each one of those modules. You can split them into two if you want, like this. So you have two columns. You can split this column into two columns. Uh, there's just a whole a bunch of things you can do. You can you can move these things up and down, so you can change that and change move that down to uh, the, the bottom, for example. So lots of good stuff there t for changing your email template to basically anything you want. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is the change template option. Change template, when you click on it, basically brings up the different uh, out-of-the-box options that you have for uh, different templates that we looked at before when we created an email in, uh, the, in, the, in our earlier video. Um, so this list will have all of the out-of-the-box templates as well as any um, custom template that you've created in the, in the, in the past. So um, you can just change those out. Uh, be careful if you have a full email, though, uh, that you've written a lot of content in, and then you, then you change the, uh, the template. Depending on what kind of content you have in there, uh, if you, you may lose some of that content if you change the template, and that template doesn't have that particular type of module that you created content in. So just be careful of that. Next up is View Revisions. Uh, this is kind of nice. Uh, basically, um, every time you create, uh, you're working on your uh, your email and you save it, uh, HubSpot creates a new version of it. And so, if you make a mistake or had an earlier version you liked better, you can just click on that button, View Revisions, and you can see up here uh, that there's just different versions here, different revisions they call them, and which is kind of nice. So I created the original one on March 14th, then one on April 9th at 8:08 a.m. and another one at 8:09 a.m. So, um, but then you can just go, you can just go back to those earlier versions, and you just see how it goes back and see, and so it doesn't have the the uh, the banner image there anymore. So, uh, kind of nice if you uh, make a mistake or uh, you liked a version or an earlier version better. So next up is send test email. Um, if you haven't, if you're not sending test emails to yourself before you send it out, uh, I highly recommend that you do. Um, and I, I've, I, 
I think of it as a required part of the email creation process um, because you know once you have a decent version of the email you really, you really want to take a look at it and about how it's going to look from um, you know from a receiver's perspective and often you find uh, you know little typos or font size issues or calls to action that don't look quite right so it's definitely a useful feature here so uh, just click when you're done with your email or you're, you know have a good solid draft version just click on that and then you get uh, this little box that comes up. It says, use this form to send yourself a test email. You can put your name in here. And it defaults to whoever, uh, whoever the, um, the, the, the from name, from email address is that you set up earlier. And it's also you can put, um, you put additional people in here as well. So you can, you can add other folks here, uh, other people that are on the marketing team, that kind of thing. Um, also, you can see here it says send email in plain text. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but uh, basically this is for, for when folks don't, uh, when your receivers don't have a, um, uh, an HTML capability in their email tool. So sometimes it's nice to just check and see how, that, uh, the, how a plain text email is going to look, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So this is how the, uh, the test email looks in your inbox right here. It says preview message, rich text, and then first name, that would be the person's name. Uh, check out the sexy, sexy weight loss plan, blah, 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 blah. So uh, that's what it looks like when you receive it. I'm not a huge fan of this whole preview, this whole piece that they stick on, on the front because you can't really see the full... Uh, the full subject line, which is important, but anyway, that's how HubSpot does it. So when you click on it, you can see here how the email uh, looks when somebody actually opens it in their in from their inbox. Uh, the typical default for most email clients is um, that the images are not downloaded, so you, they look at this, right, which is not very pretty, frankly. Um, one interesting point that I think we should make here is you see this little um, little alt tag right here uh, of the image. Um, if you don't put something in here that's interesting, this is one of the first things they're going to see. Hosting header 600 by 100, which is not a very good message, right? So let's say, for example, we put in something like, something different like super sexy weight loss plan that will make you rich, right? So this, this alt tag, this is an alt tag in the image, will show up like this. So it's kind of important to put some kind of message here, something that they were going to see, because most likely that's the first thing they're going to see with if they open up the email. And HubSpot's made it really easy to be able to change that alt tag. So going back into the editor here, you just go click on the image, and then this little box comes up, and see how there's a little little button that says alt text? Then you just click on that, you fill out your... Uh, I already filled it out before, but you just fill out your uh, your alt tag with whatever you want to say there, your marketing message, and then just click on update alt text, and then it'll be there. Okay, so a couple more things before we wrap up. Um, plain text emails. Uh, some old-fashioned email clients don't render uh, HTML text very well. Um, so um, HubSpot gives you, uh, well, what it does is it automatically creates a plain text version for uh, those kinds of clients that don't uh, accept HTML, which is kind of nice. Uh, but if you want to uh, create a separate version for plain text, you can do that by going to Options, Customize Plain Text Version. Uh, just click on this button here. It says Edit the Plain Text Version. It'll generate it. So you have this whole, this is, it just copies it from, the, from what you, you, you edited before in the, uh, in the editing tool and just makes a plain text version which is kind of nice. Um, if you leave the field blank, uh, the plain text version will be generated automatically, so it's not a huge deal, but it's something that's kind of nice. Uh, one more thing down here at the bottom uh, is this, uh, this, this feature they call the web page version. So um, kind of an interesting thing. You can um, create a, basically create a web page out of an email that you create. Um, so if you create the email and then you can change the page, you can make a page title here, you can put whatever you want here. Um, and then you can actually create your own URL and a meta description, just like you would on any other kind of web page. Um, you have to click this button first or this, this checkbox. So um, that's kind of interesting um, because <clears throat> one of the things that you can do there is when you go down to the share, uh, the social sharing here, what you can do is once you've created that email, that, that URL of that email, you can put that URL here. And social sharing, and so then you've just basically shared. You have an ability, an ability for people to view that email as a web page, uh, which is sometimes useful for people. So, that is that. And one last thing, uh, here's the email footer down here. You see this? How it says Go Time Marketing, uh, our, our address in Sacramento, blah, blah blah. This is what's known in HubSpot as the can spam footer. 
right? And it's uh, it's edited and controlled globally. And you simply go to content content settings, email options, and you can see over here on the right side is the first thing in the email option, something called can spam footer and you can see how you can control all of those uh, data elements right here so uh, pretty straightforward and just do that once and you're done alright hey that's the uh, the advanced email overview uh, tutorial if you have any questions uh, do not hesitate to ask me in some way shape or form